and welcome to Great Day Hollywood. We have a fun show for all of you. So summer is bustling with outdoor vacations, camping trips, parties with loved ones, and laid back days at home. But the dog days of summer also find kids and families looking for ways to infuse the season with a fresh wave of creativity to make family memories that will last past the season. Mom and lifestyle expert Amy E. Goodman is here to join me. Welcome, Amy. Nice to meet you. Oh, it's such a pleasure to meet you. I'm so excited and very enthusiastic to talk about all these great ideas. Yes, with Netflix. Oh, my goodness. I love it. So first off, Amy, what are some benefits and tips around bringing the whole family into activities during the summer break? Because the kids are out of school and they need something to do, right? They <laughs> are out. And I always feel the pain because summer is such a precious time, but it always slips away so quickly. Yeah. So I love to celebrate a summer family Friday. And this means every Friday, families mm. are looking forward to spending time together, building some core memories, slowing down summer a little bit, having an arsenal of activities at the ready for both um, indoor and outdoor in case of inclement weather, and of course maximizing mm. your time as a family checking out these new Netflix shows and films. I love that. Netflix and chill. That's right. Oh, don't do that with the kid. Oh, good Lord. You know, only for the adults. Yeah, that's right, Amy. <laughs> now, Amy, how can the parents and caregivers pull from kids' favorite shows and movies to bring elements to other summer activities? this summer? Well, it is about drawing some creative ideas, whether it's like you like pull out one of their favorite characters or it's like a color or a general theme. I have lots of examples to share with you. We're going to start with Thelma the Unicorn. Ooh. This is an animated movie that is mm. about, um, it's for all ages, by the way, and it's about this little pony who has big singing dreams and she gets on the big stage when she transforms into a glittery unicorn. So we've got some rainbow unicorn popcorn, which is really easy to make. You take candy melts, um, you melt them down per the instructions, it's very mm -hmm. easy in the microwave. Um, you drizzle it on plain white popcorn. Kids can help in mixing this up. You work in batches, so you do the individual colors, and then you can either mix it all up in a bowl, mm -hmm. or you can even build on a larger butcher board a full rainbow of color, if you like, as well. Oh. You are going to be the hit of the neighborhood. So you're, it's gonna really behoove you to make this all summer long because it's gonna be very popular. It's so technicolor and fun. And then also, in spite by the movie is a karaoke party. So bring out the microphones, the air guitars, get on your favorite tunes, and just <laughs> let's just see if you can match Thelma's amazing vocals. Shall we see that? <laughs> then uh, I oh if. If you saw that for me, it would be a disaster, Amy, oh, no. but the kids would be adorable. Well, I, I yeah. love that, you know, you get to cut loose and have fun with your family, make some music, and nobody's judging. Not not yet. Yes. We're going to judge at the end. So, so next we have Jurassic <laughs> right. World Chaos Theory, and this is an animated series for kids who are seven and above. Um, it brings together the whole gang. Oh. They're trying to uncover a global conspiracy of danger that the dinosaurs are facing and potentially also themselves. It is a bit of a nail biter. So I wanted mm. something for kids to bite into. These are my dino bone snacks. And as you can see, they're short paper bags with a little <laughs> raptor stamp on them. I carved it out of a potato. And then the kids can get involved stamping the bags and making it really interactive. We're gonna pop into that some wow. dinosaur bones, which are our yogurt covered pretzels. And then also kind of teaming Ooh. into that series is um, an archeologist mm -hmm. sensory bin. And this was built using things around the house. So you have a bin, you can fill, I filled this one with sand, but you could do it with like rice or lentils or dirt from the yard. Add to that some little dinosaur toys, fossils, rocks, mini magnifying mm -hmm. glasses, anything that you have to inspire their dig. And then we're gonna grab out of our summer beach tools, the little shovel so they can dig away. Yeah. And a little tip is to put a lid on that um, so that you know when they're not playing with it, the, the, in, the contents don't spill out all over and you can reuse it over and over. Right. Yeah. Oh my goodness, such great ideas for the kids and for the entire family this summer. Uh, Amy, where were you when I was a kid? <laughs> oh my goodness, this would have been so much fun. Amy, such great ideas. Is there any other advice that you can share with us this morning to have the perfect summer with Netflix? Yes, well, definitely so. I think Netflix family is really about things for parents and kids. So my next activities are not just for the kiddos, but also incorporate the adults as well. We have from Saving Big
Bikini Bottom, mm -hmm. the Sandy Cheeks movie. This is going to debut on August the 2nd, in which the squirrely star <laughs> wants to save Bikini Bottom, hopefully with the help of SpongeBob SquarePants. And I've made these amazing soakers. So this mm -hmm. ends up being a really fun activity that you can do together. It is <gasps> um, two large sponges cut into four pieces each, cinched together in the middle with a little string. Mm -hmm. And then you make several of these. You mm -hmm. fill up your bucket with water. You go outside. And as a family, you're just getting each other wet, right? It's so much fun. These are also a great mom tip. They're better <laughs> than blue water balloons because you can reuse them over and over again all summer long. Then we have Ultraman Rising, which is, I, I like actually that. grew up with Ultraman in the 70s. I'm so excited for this new animated yeah. feature that's for kids seven and older in which the star athlete returns home, um, takes on the role of Ultraman from his dad, fights all of Tokyo's mm. big monsters and ends up becoming a legendary <laughs> hero of his own right. So we're gonna go out and play a family game of baseball. Baseball runs throughout the movie and then also build these fun animated kind of like Ultraman cups out of some construction paper and tape. Really quite easy to make. And you need to rehydrate, ah. right, after the baseball. So some lemonade or some smoothies That's to kind what? of finish that out. And lastly, we have um, the barbecue uh, showdown. This is season three. It's gonna debut on July the 4th. And it's where the pitmasters are, of course, trying to outdo each other with their barbecue skills to be named the barbecue champion. It is a friendly but fierce competition. Mm. And we wanna bring that friendly and fierce competition to our very own neighborhood barbecue showdown. So have everybody come over to watch an episode, have them bring their best grilled items, and there's going to be a competition in that. And for the kids, of course, a s'mores build where we're going to taste the best whoever makes the best s'mores. Mm. Oh my goodness. I love this segment so much. My favorite interview out of the week, and I have like so many more to go, Amy. But Amy, thank you so much for coming on the show, sharing all these great ideas to watch Netflix with your family this summer. Tell us, where should we go for more information? I hate to even see you go because I could listen to you all day long with all these genius uh, ideas. Well, this is yeah. an ultimate compliment coming from such a star interview such as yourself. For all of these films and <laughs> movies and shows, you can go to uh, netflix.com forward slash summer family fun. And then for free downloadables, netflixfamily.com. They've got color pages, recipes, tons of ideas. The kids are out from school. And also don't forget to sign up for their amazing quarterly magazine there as well. It's free, so you might as well. And the July issue is yet to be sent out, so there Yay. is still time. I love that. We'll have all the information below. By the way, Amy, how will you celebrate summer this year? Uh, watching Netflix with the fam? <laughs> yes, I'm going to do my Netflix and chill just like you. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> Thank you, Amy. You take care. Have a Bye. good day. <laughs> this year marks the 32nd anniversary of the world's largest K-12 through science competition. Joining us from the National Press Club is Justin Mr. Fascinate Schaefer, a nationally renowned scientist who is here to introduce the winners of the Toshiba National Science Teaching Association Explorer Vision Awards. Welcome, Justin and students. Hi. Good morning. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> it's nice to have you all on the show. So first off, Justin, let's start with you. What makes this annual event so unique? Talk to us about that. The Toshiba NSTA Explorer Vision Challenge is the world's largest K-12 science competition, and it's unlike any other. It expands young people like these's imaginations and allows them to explore their interests in science, technology, engineering, and math. These kids get these opportunities to explore and participate in the practice of science, which of course better prepares them for the future of work. This year, over 2,000 projects were submitted by over 6,000 students across the U.S., and we had some amazing projects like the trash can that can digest plastic using worm saliva. Uh, we had mycelial <laughs> batteries, which use fungus to extend the lifespans of batteries, and skin cancer screening machines where you can upload images and detect screen skin wow. cancer with a higher rate of incidence. I mean, the things that these kids come up with every year are extremely brilliant, and I'm blown away every single time. These kids are so smart. Uh, geniuses is what they are, Justin. Geniuses. Absolutely. Right. Now, uh, <laughs> students coming to you, tell us about the award-winning project. Can you talk to us about that? Undereducation is a big problem everywhere, so we created Cyber School. Cyber School is an autonomous educational AI device. 
It's solar powered and doesn't require access to the internet or Wi-Fi, so everyone can use it everywhere. It also has lots of tactical learning tools to help a student learn. Now, Alan, where did you get the idea for your winning entry? We got the idea when we saw everyone who didn't have education like we do, and we wanted to help them so they could get chances like this, and they could perceive their potential. So we wanted to help, and we created Cyber School. Oh, that's amazing. Good for you guys. Now, I want to come back to you, Justin. What are some of the top winning honorees this year? I mean, other than the ones that I mentioned before, we have amazing projects like nanobots being inserted into your spinal cord to better control prosthetics. We have allergen detecting devices that can be attached to students' clothing and detect allergens in their food before they eat them. I mean, the list just goes on. There's some brilliant projects this year. Now, Justin, for parents and kids watching, you know, what is the real impact of programs like Explore Vision? You know, Explore Vision is so important because it helps kids engage in the practice of the methodology of science so that when they get into science majors when they get older or when they go into science laboratories as full-grown adults, they're less intimidated by the prospect. And these are the kinds of careers of the future that are changing the world. And so kids need to have a working famili familiarity with these things in order to be comfortable changing the world, which these kids are certainly going to do. Now, Justin, being famously known as Mr. Fascinate for promoting science education, what got you interested, my friend, in wanting to share your knowledge of science education with others out there? Well, I grew up in the south side of Chicago, and I didn't have a lot of exposure myself as a young person to STEM education. So I'd actually be a great beneficiary of tools like this one, like cyber school. And I always wanted to make other young people, especially from diverse backgrounds, feel like they could be engaged in STEM too. And so work like this is right on the nose uh, for the, the type of work that uh, I'm inspired to do and dedicated my entire career to. That's incredible. Good for you, Justin. Now, lastly, uh, last question I want to ask the students. Uh, what makes science so much fun? Alan, we will start off with you, and then the other students can weigh in. Science is fun for everyone because you can change the world if you really focus on your, on your idea. And it's really fun to work with people. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, so, yeah, so we, we would like to tell other kids that science really does help you save, uh, make the world a better place. And it really inspires other kids to do the same. And when we didn't really have science as our best subject before the competition, but now mm -hmm. we might consider entering more competitions. So we would tell them our story and hopefully that inspires everyone else. And I for me, that. basically, I just, it's fun. Like, it's the base of every living thing, every other non-living thing. And I like breaking things down and trying to figure out what happens, <laughs> how you make them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, good for you guys. Thank you so much for sharing your answers with us this morning. And I hope other students watching will take an interest in science because you guys have inspired me and I know so many others watching our interview as well. Um, Justin, tell us where should we go to learn more information? For more information about the Cyber School and other award-winning projects, you can go to explorevision.org, the website. You can also learn how to submit your own project as a student, and you can visit uh, uh, Explore Vision social media pages on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, which are linked on the website. Nice. We'll have all the information below to direct our viewers watching this morning. Thank you, Justin, and the students for coming on the show. Y'all have a great day and have a nice summer, guys. Thank all you. All right. Have a good Bye. one. Bye. Local nonprofits play an important role in addressing community challenges. Joining us today is Kelly Goodyjohn, the Chief Social Impact Officer at Starbucks Coffee Company. Kelly is sharing details about the Starbucks Foundation's Neighborhood Grants Program and how it is making a difference by helping more than 2,800 local nonprofits. Here is what she had to say. I'm so proud to be here today to talk about our Starbucks Neighborhood Grants Program. 
Uh, this is an incredible example of how our Starbucks employees, who we refer to as partners, and Starbucks alumni are living our community promise to contribute positively around, around the world. Um, this is our fifth year of our Neighborhood Grants Program, and we invite Starbucks partners and alumni to acknowledge and recognize and nominate local organizations that are doing good things in their community to receive a grant from the Starbucks Foundation. Uh, this year, being our fifth year, we will be awarding $5 million to local nonprofits across the United States. Uh, we know our partners know their communities best, and it's such a great way for us to support our partners' voice and to support local organizations and all the good work that they're doing. You can find more information on stories.starbucks.com about our neighborhood grants program, but also about the other community impact efforts that Starbucks has in our local communities, thanks to our partners and Starbucks alumni who are, who are doing good work. When asked what's the most important financial problem facing your family today, well, 41% responded to a Gallup poll, which mentioned inflation and the cost of living. You know, everyone is trying to save on money these days because times are tough. One of the must-haves for families, singles, recent grads, retirees, you name it, is a strong internet connection. We all have to have internet, and we all have to have it in our home, especially if we're working from home. However, finding affordable internet, you know, that's also reliable can be very challenging these days. Um, joining us right now is Jeanette Kaplan, the founder and CEO of Hispana Global, a digital platform that provides parenting and money-saving tips, among other helpful advice to discuss how the internet and other services impact our lives and what we can do to keep connected. Good morning, Jeanette. Nice to have you on the show. Thank you for joining me. It's so great to see you. Thanks so much for having me. So Jeanette, why is internet access so important to families across our country? Well, we all rely on the internet for so much, whether we're at home or on the go and during the pandemic. Honestly, this was so evident for my family. Like my kids were doing online learning, my husband and I were trying to work remotely, and that need only seems to grow with gaming, streaming, web calls, it's like, it never ends. So we all need the internet and especially a reliable connection to the internet. The cost for all the streaming, gaming and Zooming, you know, it really adds up. I mean, you're an expert in helping people save on money. We're all wanting to save because inflation is just, you know, outrageous. I mean, you go to the grocery store, you spend $300 for one or two people. I mean, it's crazy. So, Jeanette, what's your advice? What will you tell us this morning in regards to this? Well, we're all looking to save more. So my first tip is to write down all of your monthly expenses and really evaluate which services you need and which ones you don't. And it really pays off to search a little bit and figure out how much you're paying for your internet. For example, I was thrilled when I found out that Comcast had two new products, now mobile and now internet, that offer reliable connectivity at a very low cost. Now, Jeanette, how can these new products help anyone looking to save money like families, recent grads, retirees? So the first thing is knowing how much you will yeah. spend each month. That really, really helps. Mm -hmm. And now mobile, each line is $25 and now internet starts at $30. But the best part is that ah. there is no contract. You pay each month, you pay as you go, no credit check, no social security. So you really pay for what you need and for what you sign up. So I think that helps keep everything under control. Like for example, I'm the go-to tech person in my family, so I, I'm in charge of all things internet for my parents, for my grandmother. They always want to stay connected, Aww. but they have a very strict monthly budget. So this is a great, great yeah. service for them because they know how much they're going to pay. And the speed that you sign up for is the speed that you get, regardless of how many people are on the network. So that's very useful. And the internet is really reliable because it's on the same network that powers Xfinity Internet. So you know that it's not going to fail you, but on the other hand, you're not tied up to anything. You can pay as you go, depending on your needs. 
Oh, I love that. That is very helpful indeed. And you know, this sounds like it might be your number one cost saving tip. So what comes in now at number two for you and your family this summer? Talk to us about that on Great Day Hollywood. Well, number two is making a list. Making a list when you go shopping, but before you make that list, yeah. you go to your pantry, you go to your fridge, you figure out what you have and what you really need. Because if you go to the store and you haven't done a list, you might end up buying stuff that you already have. And then you go online, you search for online coupons, you search for the buy one, get one deals, mm -hmm. the BOGO deals, that those can really add up and help you save. And I have another tip. All those auto renewal, all those subscriptions that tend to renew without you even noticing, turn them off. Like, make a list of all the things that you're subscribed to, figure out what you need, what you don't, just get rid of them, and Another tip, unplug all your devices, all your electronics, your blender, your coffee machine, your phone charger, whenever you're not using it, unplug it. Why? Over the course of a year, you could save 10% on your electricity bill because even if you're not using those oh. devices, if they're plugged in, they're still consuming electricity. So just unplug. That is a very good tip right there because, uh, you know, I might need to do that. Oh, my. I have so much stuff plugged into the walls. Oh, we goodness. That's probably why my power we bills do. very high, you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, where can the viewers and listeners go to learn more about the new Internet and mobile products? Because I think this will really give a lot of people hope because, you know, a lot of people still work from home and they need that fast Internet. And who wants to pay, you know, a high money? monthly fee where you can just do Xfinity, right? Exactly. And you just go sign up for now internet and you can start at $30 a month. You can upgrade if you need it, but if not, just stay with the $30 a month and you just need to go to an Xfinity store or go to Xfinity.com slash now. And if you need help setting up, they'll set you up in 10 minutes. It's so easy. Well, Jeanette, you take care. You have a nice summer. And thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you. Thanks so much. And enjoy your summer. Thank you all so much for watching today. I hope you have a great day. And we'll see you back here real soon on Great Day Hollywood. Bye-bye.